can start. Okay. Okay, hello. Uh, today we have a special guest at Liberty University, Mr. Terry Fowell. Nice to meet you. Nice to be here with you. Appreciate <laughs> you coming to visit us. Yeah, thank you for a great trip today. And I would like to ask uh, what, uh, uh, what was the beginning of the Liberty University and also Thomas Road Baptist Church. How did it all begin? Okay, Liberty University was founded in 1971. We didn't build what you own now, the property, till 77. But Dr. Falwell's dream was to have a Christian university and just teach the young people. And he prayed and prayed. And he started off as a, a preschool. And he wanted to have teachers that were Christians and have the students go all the way through and get uh, the degree in college and also go to, go to law school, medical school, or whatever they wanted to pursue. And that was his dream. It, and he had so many people praying. And it, it came, as you saw today, what we have. We've been mighty blessed. And what is the main factor that such a big God's blessing uh, we can see here? Yeah, the, we went through a financial uh, troubles. We really did, and it looked like it was going under. But Dr. Falwell said, keep praying and praying, and we, you will see it fulfilled. And as you see, you see it today. And why do you think the Liberty University is the most, the biggest one uh, Christian university in the whole world? Yeah, we were really blessed to start an online program. And what I mean by that, people can stay at home and go to work and then on the spare time take classes through the computer. And that's really helped us financially. And we have as many as 800 people coming here a week doing intensives, knock out a class from 8 o'clock in the morning till 5, five days a week. And so that's been great for Liberty and also people that can come here for a short time and uh, help get uh, knock out a class. What kind of person was uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Farwell? It, Dr. Farwell Jerry was just unbelievable. You could meet him and he could you could come back in t uh, 10 years and he'd remember your name. And he felt like it was uh, great to start a great sports program and a great music program. And that's how you reach your young people. So he saw that fulfilled. He started a home for alcoholics and drug addicts, and he started an inner city church, and he started a godparent home for unwed mothers. And all three of them are still operating. Even though we went through a bad time financially, he said, we're not going to be blessed unless we keep them open. So he kept them open, and, and we've been blessed. And how could you encourage Polish Christian to start such a big project like Christian University? because we are dreaming about it. Yeah, yeah it's something you really dream about to see this come from nothing up here on the mountain. We didn't have anything. Now we have 8,000 acres, and we have a great religion department, school of divinity, aviation, you name it, nursing, you name it, uh, engineering, and if you want a degree in so many things. It started off as a Bible school and worship leaders, but now we kept branching out, but we never want to forget about how we started. Thank you so much for the interview and a great encouragement for all us and our viewers in Poland. Thank, Thank you so much. Come see us. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Thank you.